The beaches of Saudi Arabia. Who I'm ready. But there are some private beach resorts. This will be taking us to our room at the Red Sea Resort. This is ridiculous. And here we are. This is probably going to be our favorite place. This is the, the bar. Success. Cheers. Cheers. Blooming scorpion fish. Oh my god, look at that cheese pool. And I bet you didn't expect that you could do this. Right now, Saudi Arabia is probably the most exciting or one of the most exciting countries in the whole of the Middle East to be in right now. With all of the changes, with all of the projects and the opening to foreign tourists in 2019, it's probably the place to be and in years to come, it's only going to progress more. But after... 15. After around seven days in Jeddah on the Red Sea coast, we still haven't been able to access the beach. Obviously with the rules being that you can't go to public beaches and in certain hotels, only the men can go in the pool or swim in the sea. Women can't go in their bikini or even a burkini. But after doing some extensive research, we have figured out that there are some private beach resorts around a 30 to 45 minute drive north of Jeddah. After doing this research, we found out being that it is winter, as of filming, February the 15th, most of these beach resorts are closed and the ones that are open cost around 100 English pounds a day just to access and they take away your phones because they don't want any photos or videos of people in bikinis in Saudi Arabia, but we have found one and we have decided to book a night. It is actually working out cheaper for us to spend a night at this Red Sea Resort than to go to a beach club for the day. So we are going to be heading in the next 10 minutes, 30 minutes north to, is it the Red Sea Resort, Molly? Yes. We are heading to the Red Sea Resort where we can go to the beach, we can swim in the sea, and Molly can hopefully or a bikini. I didn't think you could do this in Saudi Arabia. The beaches of Saudi Arabia. I'm ready. It? I'm ready to check it out. And I'm excited to see for ourselves and also show you guys what it's like there because I think there's a lot of them. Different. I think there's like 20, but they're literally all closed right now. But I um, I also think that like it's things people wouldn't expect. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe that I can get in a bikini, get on the beach and enjoy I think it's swimming not, around. I don't know, we'll see. We, I don't think it's segregated from what I see online. There's not like different areas for different people. It's gonna be new for us too. Hello, my friend. Hello. How long is it to the Red Sea? Um, 20, oh, perfect, not oh, far. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was not expecting it to be only be 20, 25 minutes to get to the beach resorts of Jeddah. I thought it would be a lot longer than that. I don't suppose there's much traffic right now because it's kind of like midday and, and the road, no one's no out. No one's out Everyone's at the minute. <laughs> So we're actually just driving past the Jeddah Tower, the World Trade Center, where there were plans for this building to be the tallest in the world, taller than the Burj Khalifa. But apparently for the last few years, it's just been like this. It's just been a standstill on construction and they don't know whether there are plans for it to be completed. Look at it, it's just in the middle of nowhere, this giant structure that is incomplete the bird remains we are going to give you some inspiration to change the way that you travel teaming up with skyscanner we're going to create a little game called the skyscanner roulette skyscanner is a world travel engine helping you find the best deals on hotels and flights and much more. They actually have this really great feature called the Explore Everywhere button and we're actually going to be using that to play the Skyscanner Roulette. So on the Skyscanner website I have put in my departing airport. I've seen that little button Explore Everywhere. I've clicked that and chosen my date. Skyscanner has then actually picked some countries starting from the cheapest. Now I can travel to Luxembourg for a few nights in late July 
for only £81 return. Now that is an absolute bargain. You wouldn't have known this flight, or maybe even Luxembourg, as a destination for a few nights existed if you didn't check out the Skyscanners Explore Everywhere or played the Skyscanner Roulette. It's such a great way to explore new options of destinations, but also to help you find the cheapest destinations to travel to. Have fun playing the roulette, and let's get back to the video. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, we can get in here? Yeah. Can you sit on the back? Can I sit in the back? No, no, I guess you sit like this. Yeah! <laughs> if you like to walk, you sit. I'll get in the back. Yeah, yeah. look at this. Welcome right to the beach. Right into the beaches. This is so random. We just pulled up to a gate in <laughs> the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert, right next to the World Trade Center that is unfinished. Guy come out. We've jumped in the back of the van, and I think <laughs> This will be taking us to our room at the Red Sea Resort. This is ridiculous. We are literally going through the resort now and that one day will be the tallest building in the world. Good afternoon. Very good, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is us? Yeah. Amazing, thank you my friend. Thank you. Oh my God, this feels like a proper little holiday. Shukran, thank you very much. Oh my god, it's like Sherry! Yeah. If you like to take, please call. Thank you so much. We are here. Thank you. Thank Incredible. You so Shukran, thank, thank you, my friend. You so thank nice you. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's so friendly. Look at this. We have our own little apartment. It's amazing. Well, I am very pleasantly surprised. I didn't really know what to expect, but we really do have our own mini apartment. So we have our sofa, living room area with our TV. And it feels very beach holiday. It really does. I know we had our own like kitchen. We even some left us some biscuits. I won't be cooking. I'm on holiday. Our bathroom in here with ooh, big shower, and then our oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, how sweet! They've left us a little dog. This is like what you get on your little holiday resort. Um, but we're 20 minutes from Jeddah. But we're in Saudi Arabia. How cool is that? Quick change into the beach attire and I am well and truly Saudi beach club ready. Look at our chalet. We literally have the very front one here with beach access behind. And this place has cost the same price, around four to 500 rials for the night that it would to have accessed one of the other beach clubs just for a day. Actually, for a day, it, at some of them, it was 400 rials each, so like 100 English pounds each, just to look at the beach club. But we get to stay here, have breakfast, and walk down. Look at this. This is us, and the beach is just through there. During our research, we actually found that there are some private beach clubs. So they're very exclusive. Um, you, if you want to go there, you need to be invited by a local that actually has a membership. I think they're for people that want like complete privacy. So no one knows really what they're goes on behind closed doors. They're a thing to find. They are very difficult. Well, like as Matt has said, we are very lucky that we get to spend the day at one. And here we are. This is probably going to be our favourite place. This is the the bar for non-alcoholic drinks, of course. Um, over there we have a cafe slash restaurant. We also have an outdoor seating area, loads of benches. The sun has decided to come out for us today. Uh, With no sun cream. <laughs> we do oh my God, we have no sun cream. Hello. Can we get beer in here? Yeah. Yes. Can we get beer from here? Yeah. Ah, can we get two? Two, please. Thank you. Thank you. That is a good job done. Well, that's okay, non alcoholic is good. Thank you very much. <laughs> you need some ice? Uh, no ice, please, do the cans are good. Success. The ice cream shop doubles as a bar. We have a Bitburger. A Bitburger 0% for 23 reals, so like five English pounds for a non alcoholic beer. But I cannot complain. I'm at the beach in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Drinking a beer. I think this is the restaurant behind where we'll have dinner. Oh, look at this. The beachfront, lounges, we can swim, Molly can swim. Oh, I like this place. Cheers. Cheers. It's not quite 
the same but the idea that I can be in my bikini in Saudi Arabia on a beach drinking a 0% beer is actually very unique and I bet you didn't expect that you could do this. And it's not segregated right? Mm. I think we can go. Unfortunately I have to sit with Matt. Yeah we have to sit together it's a shame. This This is the life. We have not moved from this position for a good two hours. The sun is just starting to come out. It is extremely windy today. And the problem is we don't have any sun cream. We didn't buy any sun cream. So <laughs> we're hiding in the shade, but because it is so windy, it is freezing under here. A few days ago, I did not think that this would be possible. We were doing so much research to find a beach or a beach club that we could access and to finally be here. It is just lovely. I think the best way to stay at this one, the Red Sea Beach Resort, I think it's called, is to stay the night. They do do day passes, but I think the day passes are only for families. So I don't think me and Molly could get away with it. And there is the beautiful Red Sea. I need to go for a swim, but I've just seen this sign and it says the sea urchin, stonefish and blooming scorpion fish live in this area and you need to get some protective water shoes, which I obviously don't have. I don't have sun cream. I don't have swimming trunks. I don't have water shoes. You can tell I wasn't very prepared for this. Blooming scorpion fish. What even is a scorpion fish? As someone who doesn't really like the deep sea anyway, the thought of going in there with stonefish, scorpion fish, and sea urchins is not, is not for me. I'm only gonna paddle here because there's a, a swimming area further down and I don't fancy treading on a scorpion fish. What was the other one? Scorpion fish stonefish. or a stonefish? I don't wanna meet either of them, but behind is Somewhere over there, the Jeddah Tower, which one day will be the tallest building in the world, overlooking the beach resort. Oh, this is nice. It's warm. Ah, I remember this from Egypt. The Red Sea is actually the warmest sea in the entire world. We actually have a dive shot down the end. So I think lots of people, because the resort is actually really busy, lots of people have been on dives maybe this morning um, and they're getting ready to head out again this afternoon but I think there's a swimming spot I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going in with stone what was it fish. stone What's fish stone pebble fish? fish I don't want any of them some, near my feet some sort of scary fish most of the people staying here seem to be western tourists tourists that are interested in diving in the Red Sea obviously we haven't got our paddy yet so <laughs> that isn't us there is actually a few locals here so you've got to be a little bit careful with filming because obviously they come here to escape some of the rules in Jeddah which you can actually see in a distance the skyline of the city just over there. Look at that skyline! And the blue water. I can't believe you can actually see all the buildings of Jeddah in the distance. You can actually see the planes taking off as well above us. Um, but you need to get in that water, it's looking inviting. She might not swim, but she loves oh, a pizza. The menu here is actually very good. We got is it good? a spicy oh, Italian, nice. I think that's bacon as well. Well, beef bacon being in Saudi. And this was like 50 reals, so 10 English pounds. Do you want some? I want some. You have to swim first. Oh my God, look at that cheese pool. That's some nice pizza and, oh, oh no. The beef bacon is good actually. You it's really, not quite bacon. It's not quite, but I don't think you would really tell. And with the spicy sausage. Felix, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but we've just got back to the room. And this little one oh, was waiting. Hello. Was waiting. <laughs> He's coming on my lap. Do you like my Lebanon shorts? Was waiting outside. He's definitely been in here before. Yeah, he's definitely, he seems to know this uh, this room, this chalet. It's a she actually. I've oh, she seen. knows. I've just seen. <laughs> right, oi. No, don't do that. That's not nice, come on. No one wants to see that. You have to go. <laughs> come on, out. Out, out, uh, uh, no thank you. No, no. No one, no, no one licks there. Please don't. Come on, out. Felix, we've decided 
You've got to go, mate. Oh, stop doing that. Stop licking your bum. Out. The only good thing is, Saudis like cats. If you were a dog, you would be long gone. And I'm, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this anyway. Come on, out. Out. Molly, it won't listen to me. I'm not picking it up. It'll scratch me. Out. Go. Out. Let's go. Mum. Out. Oh, we got another one. Hello. Come on, out. Out, out, out. How are we going to get it out? Pick it up. Felix. It's a girl. Come on. Oh. Right, come on. Oh my Felix. gosh, look at this one. Hello. Oh, oh you're angry. Aww, okay. Oh, it's okay. We need to get it out. Come on. That was impossible. We literally only just got the cat to leave and then it left. And then the other cat that was outside <laughs> tried to attack the cat that we had in our room, but we are now walking to catch the last little bit of sunset. And for some reason, absolutely everyone goes back to their room really early at this resort. I presume, I presume they've been out diving all day or they're just like, you know, a little bit lazy. But um, it looks, it looks like we're gonna get a good one. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice place to sit and watch the sunset. I have to say, it gets a little bit chilly. Like, I don't know if that's just me being silly, but I wasn't expecting it to drop the temperature so much at night. Maybe it's the sea breeze. And I don't breeze. know why no one has come out to watch the sunset. Yeah. This is probably, look, look at this. This is probably the best sunset that we've got in Saudi so far. That is gorgeous. The whole sky is pink and the sun is like a little golden halo. It's actually mad to think just there, that dot in the distance is the bright lights of the city of Jeddah and we are literally, I would say, a 20 minute drive and it's like a little awaited. It seems like we are the only ones <laughs> at the resort having dinner. I think because you have your own cooking facilities, everyone cooks in their room. Cheers. Cheers. Another zero percent bit burger. Does the job. I mean, what's this cup though? Look at this cup. I like it. Like a little it, jug. It, this screams zero percent. This cup. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, amazing! Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. That is a big burger. That is a huge burger. Thank you, my friend. Burgers, beer, bacon, and beach clubs. Who would have thought it <laughs> in Saudi Arabia, but we have found it. And this is literally the size of my head. And this is like the fifth burger <laughs> I've already had in Saudi. And I have a kid's meal pasta, but I don't know why I just really fancied tomato pasta tonight. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think beef bacon, or the beef bacon they have out here, might be better than the actual thing. Good morning. This was precisely our point. We have woken up here at the beach resort and literally for the same price as a day pass, you can spend the night, have your dinner, enjoy your evening. It sounds like an advertisement, morning. it's really not. It's really not, but we are just, you know, advocates for finding the best things to do. We have our breakfast included. You get to pick what you want and we're sat outside with the sea breeze. We've got breakfast with that. You would, that? Just look at that. You wouldn't say that that this was is Jeddah. Jeddah, Saudi. Apple juice. Very good. I'm like saying things that have apple juice. Telephone. Sunglasses. It's not like you needed to know. I'll be honest, places like this, especially around Jeddah, are probably few and far between. And I feel like it's definitely the next step that the country needs to take. Um, whether that be every hotel, the men and women can access swimming pools or a lot more of them because obviously people that are gonna come to Saudi on holiday are gonna want to go to the beaches of Jeddah or all along the hundreds of kilometers of coastline, swim together, relax together. And until that happens, you're gonna lose out on a certain type of tourist. So it's good to find places like this and hear that there are more plans for even more of them to open so more tourists do come here rather than look at the obvious other option of Dubai. To be honest, who are we to say anything about another country or their changes or their rules, but from what we're seeing, 
it's all very positive out here. They are doing so much um, and as we said it's such an exciting time to be here because things are changing. Um, I'm excited I'm ex to come back yeah. in the future. Just to see what... And see these projects. Yeah, exactly. But I have shakshuka. I have pancakes Look and Nutella. We've got pancakes and hash browns. Yeah, that's a weird combo, but this looks great. And that brings our time in Jeddah to an end. A city with so much to offer. And I would highly recommend to add a trip to one of the beach clubs, beach resorts into your Jeddah itinerary. It shows something completely different from the ultra modern city that is only a stone's throw away but we are now heading to one of the most holy places in the whole of the islamic world and hoping to jump on a speed train to the city of medina we will see you in the next one attempting to get the saudi bullet train